Yeah, kiss goodbye or so, so tell me, you're the expert on or kiss things. to the future. Uh, what's, uh, it's all on me. What, what, what's the guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. I don't like this. I don't like so, this. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well... They hear some patterns. Like any animal. Or human. Oh, oh my like fucking how? god, camera! Got schedules. Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't well. ask. They probably don't like the sun because Al. Yeah. Supernatural so reasons. Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something. They'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on change of the movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Fuck. He keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs one piece at a time. Oh my fuck, no. So we'll watch that. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Let's 
what he got, Josh? Oh my god, guys, thank god! It took you so long. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it... it tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, Damn. God. I was fucking up too. I fucked up twice. What are you looking for? It, it threw that don't move in too quick. I ain't had time to put the controller down. That's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Keep on saying the title of the game. I'll wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. <laughs> Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's uh, that old guy's bag. Said that. Oh, that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> what? What is this place? Oh my god. Wait, uh, what is that? I was down there. It's horrible. You were? You've been a cave in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. God. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um? Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's nothing, it just bit me and bit you. What bit you? The the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you. I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes, Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you. You could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's not how it works. It it's not a zombie. Remember, he said that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Calm the fuck down. That's not how it works. What? Mike. You got to go. That's not how it works. You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily. Can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. It's good to be cautious, but that's not how it works. It takes a takes a lot more than a bite to become a win to go. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do that! I'm really sorry. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. I hope you did. I want to sit up and dome her. I know how this shit works. 
I'm seeing too much supernatural shit. Not in real life, but. Keep an eye on her. Anything weird. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Nigga, you gonna leave the gun? Dude, now we don't have a chance. No, guy, it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the this only man who has. CD. Damn, I want to finish reading that. What the fuck? Okay. Uh. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has eaten nothing for many days the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him even the strongest man is weak to weak to it he will kill without remorse often those companions who have traveled with him he will eat the flesh raw from the corpse I have seen this happen many years ago craving for flesh that cannot be s sated and then the change begins the eyes turn first and become milky and white then the teeth become longer like fangs the creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones there was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shaman. To this. Their shaman tale stories of tall creatures born in ice. The tribe re respected the mountain and all of the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miner, miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Crees say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. <coughs> The Wendigo eyes changed. They became both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees the moments. Are mutated from humans. When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. The Wendigo sees uh, it is a hunter, like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep total still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and the flesh of the Wendigo are hard, like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. But try not to kill them. What you mean? Killing a Wendigo should 